Each year during the week of February the 14th, VA celebrates the National Salute the Veteran Patients Program and Valentine's for Veterans. Selected cities host concerts free to veterans and their families. Here's Adam Poitras with a report on the Valentine's for Veterans concert in Miami Beach featuring B.J. Thomas. Ten-year-old Julia Dale opened the show with a stunning star-spangled banner, setting the stage for an evening full of music in a theater full of South Florida veterans. And my brother-in-law is a prisoner of war, and he wanted to be here. Well, I work at the Miami VA. I'm an Air Force vet, and I appreciate BJ coming out and do this for us. And uh, I'm looking forward to the show. With that unmistakable voice still intact, B.J. Thomas and his band performed many of his well-known hits from the 60s, 70s, and 80s. This was the second year in a row that Miami was chosen to host a Valentine's for Veterans concert, allowing the South Florida community to say thank you to our local veterans in a big way. Miami is just one of those places that everybody, if, if they're not here, they want to come here. And uh, with, with the presence of Homestead and MacDill Air Force Base and Patrick Air Force Base, Florida is Eglin, Tyndall, uh, Mayport Naval Station, Florida's got a lot of military here, a lot of retired military here, so this was obviously one of the places we wanted to come and do that. We started with four concerts the first year, and then we went to 12 and 17 and 16 concerts this year. So we've got uh, venues all the way from Los Angeles to the East Coast, and it's parts in between, so it's, uh, it's been a very rewarding experience. And it's free for the veterans since they've already paid the price. In addition to bringing entertainment to veterans, the VA hopes the event encourages concert goers to volunteer at their local VA. Reporting from Miami Beach for VA News, I'm Adam Poitras. In Columbus, Gary Lewis and the Playboys visited VA employees and veterans at the Wiley Ambulatory Care Center before performing for veterans and their families. I love to do uh, concerts for the veterans, and I also um, had a very wonderful time tonight. You know, people smiling, bouncing back and forth uh, to the music. I was in chemotherapy today. Gary and a couple of the band members came over and hugged me and shook my hand and uh, couldn't, made, made my day for. <laughs> I love the show. Got up and danced on Wooly Bully and didn't stop. Also at the Columbus Outpatient Clinic, VA employees and area school children teamed up to sing and deliver Valentines to veterans all day on February the 14th. In Detroit on Saturday, February the 11th, area service organizations were on hand to donate large amounts of cash to help veterans' causes. The Magnificent Spinners entertained a large crowd of veterans at the Motor City Valentines for Veterans concert.
In Chicago, the Jesse Brown VA Medical Center hosted a concert by Marshall and the Shy Lights. The Platters performed to a full house of veterans and VA employees in Montgomery, Alabama. And at the West Los Angeles VA Medical Center, the Grassroots rocked veterans in with their big hits from the 60s and 70s. Band members spent the day before the concert visiting with veterans at the hospital. Right now, we are in the presence, and we know it, of true American heroes. Now I know what a hero looks like. God bless you all. Chasing after money, dreams that can come true. I'm glad that we are different. 